Welcome back guys to another installment of Worms Reloaded as commentated by myself, Nock. And once again we have got Deathwish 8 of 8 against a load of crap in a series of matches in this video recorded on the 4th of May. And we're underway straight away with a pond map here and a load of crap has got the first shot with um, quite an uneven spread of worms here. We've got 3 to 2 on the uh, right hand side here and 2 to 1 on the other. There is a lot more carnage though on that right hand side than the left hand side. So let's see what a load of crap can do with this opening shot. He's got the win with him, so you would assume he's going to go with a bazooka shot here. He's got to be very careful though not to damage that worm of his, but uh, you know, there is only one of his though. It's not going to be a big issue if he causes other damage. He goes in above the uh, bottleneck there and hits the barrel. The barrel sends the fire down to Deathwish Aim, Deathwish's worm, sorry, and uh, you have to say a bit of an un, uh, eventful shot. Keep an eye on that fire on the left hand side though, it's going to come back into play momentarily and uh, catch Deathwish's worm, you'd have to think. So Deathwish here with an uh, interesting decision here, he's going to probably have to attack on the right hand side, but he's got to be very careful not to hit his own worm there at the uh, Second one there, just to the right of the golf shoe. He's going with the grenade, it seems. As uh, I don't think a rocket shot would do a lot for him. He's uh, getting his angles right. He's going to go for the up and over, just over this brolly, I think, possibly. But we'll see, because it could... Uh, yeah, he definitely is. It's come short, though. And it's rolled into the water. So, slow start here. Both players uh, with a couple of early mistakes and not really taking much damage. The fire still lingering on that left-hand side, though, above Deathwish's worm. Still not dropped. His glass helmet is protecting him good and proper here. So a little grab here, once again with the wind. It allowed him to fire a bazooka shot just nicely in the air, and the wind should carry it to the other side of the map. Let's see if can do any more damage this time. It's up, and it's over. Hits the barrel. Uh, but once again, you have to say a disappointing amount of damage. And, uh, I honestly didn't expect Deathwish's worm to get away with that fire. He, uh, the fire has gone out, the worm has gone to cave, so... Very slow start between these two. Not the sort of um, that's, that's start you'd expect on a, a pond map, that's for sure. Deathwish with a two-second grenade across the map into the fire barrels. And here we go. The carnage is about to start. All of that fire does manage to miss Deathwish's worm at the bottom right there. But the fire now coming into play on the left-hand side of the map. Deathwish's worm drops down. And a load of crap is uh, going to want to get out of there, I think. But down to 59. Not a one-shot kill, but... Certainly a couple of shots there, and Deathwish's Worm is in big trouble. High ground here for a load of crap, who has once again got the win. Three shots in a row. He has had the win with him. And that's uh, really lucky in this game, because you can never be sure what the wind is going to do. He's going to go for a grenade shot, though, up and down to uh, target this worm below, it seems. Drops it down. It's... Just rolled away from the worm, but will it catch the barrel? No, the radius doesn't quite catch the barrel, so just a uh, almost maximum damage grenade shot that time around from a load of crap. And that worm now gets to play. You've got to think that we're going to see another up and over grenade shot here. No, Deathwish is going to try and chip away there, and he's uh, sort of backfired a little bit there. He hit the barrel and knocked the mine, and he's actually damaged two of his worms in the process so a little bit of a backfire there for Deathwish but chipping away at a load of craps platform there and trying to limit the amount of space he's got to maneuver around there so understood what he was going for now a load of crap has got the chance to get this worm out can he backflip his way out I think he should be able to is he going to leave a grenade on I thought he was maybe just gonna Leave a grenade there on Deathwish's head, but he's really struggling here. It doesn't look like he's going to be able to get out. And, uh, I'm sure Deathwish would be going, oh, I can get out of there. Come on, what you doing? Because Deathwish loves to rip people. Uh, only about 15 left on the clock here, so a load of crap. I have to look for something else to do, I'm afraid. And he's just going to leave a grenade there. Damage both the worms in the process, but he's going to open that up. And you've got to think, though, that uh, neither of those two worms now are going to get out of there. So when the time comes, a load of crap's next shot with that worm. Deathwish is going to be losing one, but let's see what he can do in the meantime. Is he able to get enough of the 
landscape away to drop him down. I don't think he does. Unfortunately as well, he takes some damage on his own worm. And uh, he has killed, committed suicide, but took a, a good chunk of health away there from a load of craps worm. Down to 14 on that left hand side, but now he's sitting pretty. But there is a bit of a, a bucket there that if a grenade shot was to go in there, it would definitely uh, do some damage. So keep an eye on that left hand side the next time Deathwish comes up with a shot. But we're back with a load of crap here. We're going to go for a cross map grenade toss, I think. Seeing if he can drop this worm of death wishes into the drink below to bring it down to a four on two. He's looking for a better angle though at the minute, and he has got one. No, nope, he's going to go straight up and down. So he's going for the worm down below, not the worm I thought he was going to go to, but that's a pretty good place grenade shot, and that worm is toast and instant mine as well as a bit of extra damage while he's in the air. But uh, we're down to a four on two here. Deathwish now with the worm on the left hand side. I think it's going to be a grenade shot trying to get in between these two. If he could bounce nicely, I was just about to say, if he could bounce and like jump up just nicely, he may have got enough on the explosion there to knock that 60 worm into the drink. He did get 11 damage on it, but unfortunately wasn't able to uh, drop it into the drink. But uh, a nice amount of damage taken away from a load of craps worms once again. The wind is not being particularly favourable, but it's not going to hinder him too much here. He's going to stick with a bazooka shot. And uh, he's going to be trying to drop that worm into the drink once again. So let's see what he is able to do this time around. There we go. I thought he had um, gone a little bit too high. But no, there was some pixels there. And then the explosion radius kind of took care of the rest. So we're down to a four on one in favor of a uh, load of crap. Yeah, Deathwish here is... Got to start doing something drastic, you've got to think, yeah, or else uh, this one is going to be said, uh, done know, relatively quickly. I, I know that. I know it too well. Deathwish is going to try and bunker down. He's uh, going to try and get on that ledge. <laughs> normally when Deathwish thinks he can get on a ledge, he can. He's normally pretty good at doing these sorts of things. I, I think personally that's a bit too vertical. But we're down to 10 on the shot clock, so got to hurry this up. Shoots through the wall, which causes the splatter damage. But now that worm is one is is in maximum damage range now. So a well-placed grenade shot or bazooka shot here from a load of crap will take the game. So let's see. Luckily for all death wish. It's uh, his worst place worm next, but he's going to try and do a little curve around this, what's left of this golf shoe here. And that will try and drop the grenade down below, but that was... I don't know if that hit a pixel or what, but that was very much out of... Um, well, I think the less said about that, the better. Uh, back to Deathwish 808, though. Now should be able to... Could he take two here? I wonder if he could take two. I wonder if the splatter damage would be enough to hit that worm on the bottom. But he's uh, at least I'm going to lose to a four-on-one situation now. Load of crap down to three. Fourteen guys. Come down to an interesting confrontation though on this uh, right-hand side. If a load of crap leaves Death Wishes Worm alive here, and would then. If he was then able to take out this worm on the left-hand side, nice or the worm, there. sorry, on the right, that would um, to make things tricky for a load of crap. It's a nice arced oh. shot. Only managed to get three damage. Just comes up a little bit short. So I think, personally, the smart play here for Deathwish would be to take out this 13 worm on the, the bottom right, because the one above him is in a very awkward position and the one yeah, on the left is going to take a load of crap a few shots to get his uh, his arm in here and his aim so i think the smart move here for me would be to take out this worm which it looks like he's about to do there he goes so now we're down to two on one and it's a load of crap now with two worms and he hasn't really got any good reference points or reference shots at the minute to go from the worm up above is definitely the harder of the two shots. Let's see if he can capitalize from last time. He's going high this time as opposed to around the golf shoe. He's going to try and hit that little crevice. But no, once again, he 
don't know. He's just put too much power into that. I thought he was going to like ping it off the roof. I think what he was maybe trying to do was just loop it over into the 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 loop down below where near where that gravestone is. Hope that it would kick up enough to sort of roll round into the path of Deathwish. Well, that wasn't the case. Uh, Deathwish surprisingly going for the high worm here. With full wind, I thought he would go for the other and didn't really do much with that shot. I'm not really sure why he chose that. I would have chosen a cross map shot and then definitely uh, would have swung it right back in his favour. But let's see again with a load of crap. He's got wind with him this time, so we're probably going to see a bazooka shot here. He's lowering it a little bit, learning from last time where it was a little bit too high, I think, last time. But. Uh, Direct shot will end the match. He goes a little bit low this time, so he overcompensated. But another six damage off Death Wish's worm here. So what Death Wish can do is he going to stick with the high guy, or is he going to? You know, he is going to go and try and take out the guy across map. It's going to be too low though. Unfortunately, you could see it was going to arc into that water. I didn't adjust. I tried to tap my up arrow and it said nope. Let's see if a load of crap has learned anything though from the uh, previous couple of shots. Yeah, the well, geometry has changed though, unfortunately, since last time. So if he was trying to get sort of like a little <laughs> scoop around yeah. from down below, it's not going to happen anymore. Still going high though. I think he's going to give a little power here. Yep. Unfortunately, just hits the wrong side of the golf boot and that has pretty much destroyed all that. Um, Geometry and debris that he was using there to try and get to Deathwish, so that's going to be unfortunate. Deathwish, because of the wind, is going to swap tactics here, go high, and bring a load of crap's worm down below. Not quite in one shot range, though. So, Deathwish could be in a bit of trouble here. So what a load of crap does, he's playing with his worm on the left hand side now. Now, a load of crap's got to be careful. He, he's going to be a grenade shot, but he can't be as reckless this time because he's got his other worm down there. And if he was to bring that worm down to any more health, then Deathwish would be back in the driving street. Anything under maximum damage health. And you got to think that Deathwish has got the upper hand. But let's see what a load of crap can do here. I think a grenade shot over the top of the rest of that boot, but it just kicks up off it. If he'd have just cleared that, I think it would have dropped down just nicely. And I think that could have been a really good shot. So now it's back with Deathwish. What can Deathwish do? Is he going to try and attack the guy below or the guy across the map? It's going to be the guy below. He's going to leave him though after a maximum damage shot with at least five health points. But um, it's going to be interesting. Let's see. Let's see what happens. A load of crap has got a good angle now on Deathwish from that worm. And the only hope here is can he get any extra damage from fall damage? He didn't. Yeah, we got one, sorry. So, you got one damage, but you've got to think now a load of crap can probably take this. Deathwish was in. Always in a bit of a losing situation there, no matter what he did. But a load of crap here. Switched into the bazooka, I hope. There we go. And. Uh, this should be the game, and no, it's not. Only 27 damage. Okay, so Deathwish is still in it. Very surprised about that shot indeed. But Deathwish has been thrown another lifeline, so what? which one's he going to attack here? I think I would go for the guy below first, if I'm honest, because he poses more of a threat he does indeed there we go and he's in the drink this time so now we are down to a one-on-one -on -one. we was four on one in load of crap's favor not too long ago Deathwish has managed to bring it back and let's see how this one is going to finally pan out here a load of crap he's had a couple of practice shots he's been too low a couple of times with the bazooka he goes again and there we go, almost direct hit. It's finally going to get rid of Deathwish's worm and a load of crap takes the first victory. And uh, what an amazing match that was for our opening match. So let's jump into the next one and see what sort of shenanigans the two get up to next time. All right, we are ready here for match number two. And this time we are in an indoor environment. 
So let's see what happens here. It's probably going to be a bit more of a long and drawn out map, but uh, it's all good. We love to see the tactics unfold during the confrontation. Deathwish here to start us out in the middle of the map here. And load of crap seems like he has high ground. There's a lot of mines scattered around that left hand side of the map, so keep an eye on that. And Deathwish's worm perched on top of that barrel. You gotta think that they're gonna come into play at some point during this. But Deathwish here, like I said, to get us underway, he's got a grenade out and it looks like he's gonna go for the high worm and see if he can get in on some of that mine action. Knock a load of crap's worm off the golf balls here. It was looking good. Um, unfortunately though, there we go, the mine action is straight in there, Deathwish is a worm down already, he was trying to knock a load of crap's worm down off the top of the golf balls and into the path of the mines, but totally backfired, and like I said, that left hand area was really going to come into play looking at what was positioned there on the off, so... Straight off, Deathwish is on the back foot, but a long way to go here is a load of crap now with his high central worm. He could go left or right here. He's going to go to the left. So the left would bring possibly bring that mine into play around Deathwish's worm there in the centre right, the centre left. But uh, looks like he's opting to go right. Yeah, I'm just. He could knock the worm Shadow down. I don't think he's going to bring the mines into play, but the mines the may start to ping around a bit here, so just watch them, keep an eye on them. But he goes over. He's It was a bit of a miscalculation, unfortunately, from a load of crap, and he overshoots Deathwish's worm, so he manages to survive that one. And that worm now gets to go, so I think Deathwish is going to try and knock a load of crap's worm off. He does indeed, in the path of a mine. Which is going to cause a little bit of disruption, but nothing too much. Manages to avoid his own worm this time, and the fire is just going to burn through that brolly. But um, he's certainly knocked a load of crap off his high perch there. Deathwish now pretty much has two worms safe on this right hand side. So let's see how the action is going to unfold on this left and central area. Well. It's very much a case that uh, Holy Crap is going to try and dispatch this central worm of Deathwishes oh as quickly as he can, you would assume. And then he'll be able to start to tunnel his way across to the right-hand side of the map and those worms yeah, sat the over there. On the first shot. <laughs> Adjusting his angles here, he's going to go with the bazooka. So you're welcome for that. And uh, he aims more towards the right, which isn't going to give as much damage, but was going to keep his worm on the left there safe. The fire drops, though, and his other worm is um, subjected to a nice little fire dance there, removing him of 12 hit points of damage. Deathwish now, what's he going to do here on the right-hand side? Is he going to start to develop the central area, or is he just going to sort of bide his time and... Looks like he's going to go for the developing option. Knocks a mine into the path of his other worm, though, which luckily manages to avoid him and drops down below. But, yeah, Deathwish not going to hide away here on the right-hand side. He is going to try and develop the central area and open up a way of attack on a load of crap. So, it may not be the game of chess I initially thought we was going to be in for. A load of crap's worm here, though. I don't think there's much to do here unfortunately he's not really got any sort of angles at all so just going to try and open something up in front of him it seems i mean you don't the next few shots for that worm is going to be more of the same death wish now back in the central area uh, he's got a couple of options here he could go for the worm high and try to knock him over and pass the brolly into the drink or he could sit low. I think he's going to go for the option I said here. Isn't able to clear the worm. The worm isn't able to clear, sorry, the golf balls. And it stays pretty rooted up there. So, yeah, only 80, uh, only 15 damage, I think that was on that worm. And, uh, I think it would have been a long, sh a, lot, a big ask, though, to knock it and get, make it, give it enough momentum to fly past the brolly, slide down and into the water. But it's certainly an option. Deathwish positioned his worm here on top of a load of craps in the hope, I think, to keep it a little bit safe. But a load of crap does manage to plant the grenade and jump away. He might get caught a little bit. He does. But uh, only a few hit points. Deathwish loses 46 there, an extra point of damage for 4 damage. Alright, now, 
But we're back to the worms on the right here. We're going to continue to develop this area. Now, he might opt here to put a rocket shot into that area and see if he can dislodge that mine into the path of a load of crabs. He does indeed. In it's pinging around though, and it's going to sit. No, it's yes. not going to sit, and it was an instant mine. So unfortunately, as it bounced up, it had so much momentum. As it bounced up, it kind of went too far away from a load of crap's worm so only caused that seven damage but now we have a exactly clear path through to both sides of the map the, the central the area has been breached and uh, i have got to think here a load of crap's going to get rid of this 27 worm here in the center of the map and deathwish has really got to sort of start thinking about his next moves he can't bring the worm on the golf shoe into play here into the central area because of that mine unless he's confident enough to jump over the mine and you know deathwish is renowned for some of these uh, tricky maneuvers as the grenade goes in the hole. And uh, there we go. That is the end of yeah, Deathwish's second worm. So we're back to a four on two. Similar to the first map. So yeah, it all depends what Deathwish wants to do with that right. worm on well, the golf boot here. If he, feel, like I say, if he feels confident, he'll like, jump it. And I mean, Deathwish, he might. But let's see how it plans out. I don't think he's going to have a shot here with a bazooka, which is unfortunate because he's got the wind. Unless he wants to... Well, Open up a little bit of a better angle. He could take out some of that area Let's where those uh, golf balls are high central. But no, as I thought, he's going to switch it to grenade. Maybe try and get sort of like it to roll around that little loop there. Uh, up and then back down to see what he sort of thing he can get. It's up. It's down. Does it sit? It does sit. Excellent shot on the worm. Perfectly. And a maximum damage there. Grenade shot from Deathwish. Very good indeed. So I don't think we're going to see any movements or any differing <laughs> tactics from that worm high right there from Deathwish until he uh, runs out of options with that worm. So it's a nice little bucket there if you can pull off that shot once more, which I'm sure he can. As long as the area around it doesn't change. Bit of crap here though, his uh, first attempt. Looks like he's going to try and take out some of the golf ball debris. Might be if you don't think you get a shot, it might be wise to try and take out some of that bottom area that Deathwish just used to curve the grenade around. But he thinks he's got a shot here. It's through. Excellent shot indeed. Catches the worm. And now Deathwish is pretty much cut off from the central area. He's not going to be able to bring any worms across to that area. His worms are very much rooted to the right-hand side. We're going to see a retaliation shot here, though, from Deathwish. I don't know if... The wind is going to help here. I don't know if he's got a, enough of an angle. He's going to switch it out and well, go for grenade instead. Once again, using that banking. Fortunately, it drops in the hole this time. A little bit of splatter damage. But uh, yeah, this time, unfortunately, it didn't go round enough. Now, that's going to hinder him. That's going to. He won't be able to pull off that shot that he did the previous time with the upper right worm because he's just damaged a lot of the area that he used to bounce off on. But. <laughs> Again, that's part and parcel. You've got to adapt to your surroundings and adapt to the situations that are evolving around you as a load of crap, as we rightly predicted, is just going to chip away at that top area there just to try and give himself some better angles and bring that worm into the game at a later stage. Yeah, safe and useless. See what Deathwish can do here, though. He's still got the option to, like, make the grenade roll round and flick up, but it's just what it does once it's flicked up. Oh, the debris was still there. Good shot. And a load of crap loses his first worm. It is down to a three on two situation. There's still enough debris and enough pixels there for Deathwish to bounce that grenade off. Let's pull off the shots. But uh, it's going to be interesting what he's going to end up doing next time, I think. A load of crap here is going to have a difficult shot. He's not really got a worm in a per his position, isn't really. Anything he can use at the moment. I don't know he's going to be able to backflip out of that gap either. He might be able to get up on those pixels there with a backflip. He's going to go back. Oh, he has managed to backflip out. So that's going to open up at least a couple of bits and pieces for him. Is he going to try and do the same here and use the ceiling maybe if you can get it onto the ceiling it might be able to wrap down and bounce off that golf shoe if you can get the right angle and velocity it's going for five seconds so it looks like he is gonna try and be bouncing it off things but he went short that was interesting unless he's trying to he's trying to just prevent Deathwish 
further shot. I thought he might be trying to go for the angle in between the golf ball and the ceiling there, and with enough speed, it could have maybe wrapped round. And then looped back down towards that golf boot where that mine is and flicked up, but... Deathwish there with a nice little uh, bazooka shot there and some fall damage to boot. Really making the most now of, of the angles and the position. Now he's dropped that worm down of a load of craps. He's not, a load of crap doesn't really have much of an angle now to retaliate uh, to Deathwish's worms because he's uh, they're so so much lower in the map now. And can really do with that debris where those golf balls are being removed. So let's see what he does here. He's got his bazooka out, so he might be trying to open something up That's at the top. He's not, though. He's pulled out the grenade instead, so maybe going for another sort of looped shot here. You still have the upper hand at the See moment. how this one plans out. But... Oh, oh, Unfortunately, what? he just caught the lip as it was going up, and that oh, hammered its boy. angle and its trajectory. So, didn't really get the outcome he wanted. I don't know if he was going for a flick, but yeah, he's completely and utterly decimated that area that Deathwish was using before. So uh, Deathwish's got to come up with new strategies here. See what he can do. The wind is not really doing a lot, so a bazooka shot could work. The big question here, though, is, is there any pixels in that gap there? Or if he got a grenade in there, would it go through? Um, he's switching out the bazooka, so maybe he's going to test the water and see what happens. Yeah, he caught the pixels. Now, obviously, the, the it's all right testing the water and seeing what happens, but what you do then is it's it's a win-win if it works for you, but if not, it, it just opens up the area, as it has done now, for your opponent to then retaliate. So a load of crap here now with the upper hand, although he has to use his isolated worm, so Deathwish pretty much with a free go here. See what Deathwish can do though now that oh, the area is opened up. It's going to be a grenade shot because of the wind. Oh, uh, perfect for that shot. Yeah, uh, yeah. For one, don't think he'd be able to push the the funny. bazooka out far enough first uh, for it, the wind to catch around, it and bring it down towards those two um, <laughs> worms. So yeah, this this worm here though is still, still in a very tricky position, even though the central <laughs> area of the map yeah, is now open. Yeah, there is a, a free passage <laughs> through. Deathwish okay. still going to struggle here to be able to get anything off with this worm. He's sticking with the bazooka. Oh, that's a good shot, Deathwish. That's, that's where his knowledge of worms came in. Really good. There was just enough there just to knock that worm down. So, fantastic shot, Deathwish. Wasn't expecting that at all. Good job. And uh, worm has been dropped right to the bottom of the map there. And it is that worm's turn next. Should be able to, the crab should be able to get it back up here, you would assume. There's a gap through these pixels. He has managed to find a gap through. And he's going to put his worms together. Now this is... Um, so this is very dangerous territory. Doing this. Has to be a grenade shot, I think. Although I said that in the last one. And Deathwish pulled out a fantastic bazooka shot. So let's see. You could do double damage on this shot. Looks like he's sticking with the bazooka for now. And he catches both of Deathwish's worms, That's drops one down to the bottom. So that was a good effort from a load of crap. Absolutely. Good effort indeed. And uh, Deathwish now finds that worm pretty isolated. Doesn't have any good angles from if he even if he moves that worm to the far right. Um, let's see what he can do with the bazooka here, though. Misses completely. That's unfortunate. And uh, a load of crap now has a really good angle with this 51 worm where he's going to be able to attack. Deathwish's 81 worm at least removed some of that area that it is stood on. So, I've got to think. At the moment, it's looking pretty good for a load of crap with six minutes left on the game clock. Still got that worm on the high left there sitting pretty. See what he can do with the grenade. He's lining his angles up. And quite short timer. Like 10 times more luck on my side. Gonna have to be a powerful one, surely. Yeah, there's the power. 
Oh, nice God. little shot. Just, just <laughs> jumped up too much a little bit there and was a little bit too high yeah, in the air when it went off. If it had been a bit lower, I think that would have pushed Deathwish's worm off the ledge there. And um, either down, those two worms would have been down the bottom there together or even could have ended up on that uh, destroyed golf shoe there with the line on it. So good effort from a load of crap. Just unfortunate, like I say, with the bounce three second time, I may have brought it down a little bit. But hey, that's worms. We... We're, we're always wanting two and a half seconds yeah, and different I timers and whatever happens with the shots that we make. So the show's going to try and just uh, put it up nicely in the air and hoping that the wind will carry it through this gap. It does indeed, but unfortunately, it just doesn't come down enough. The angle wasn't quite there for him, but uh, good effort. See if he can learn anything from that on the next attempt. Brian, he gets the wind I know I could have hit your 51 guy, no problem. Or at least not no problem, but I, yeah, I would have had less power. Just a bit on more it. terraforming there from a load of crap. Oh, uh, this is this is uh, certainly it's now wind out. against him, but I think we're going to stick with the bazooka. Good. Pulled off an amazing shot the last time with it. There we go, thirty-six, and gets rid of that little perch the load of crap was using for his worms. So that's again now going to restrict yeah, load of crap's well. angles down. Yeah, it does 50s. put. That uh, central worm of a load of craps there, the one with 10 health points in a predicament, though, because a grenade shot in that vicinity would definitely um, bring an end to that one. A load of craps managed to find some pixels, though. And it looks like he's going to try and knock down Deathwish's worm here on the high right. Turn downhill for me. See what he can do. See if he can drop him this time. Well, can he drop him down below, or can he, or can he bring that mine into play on the golf now. shoe? The shot is going across the map. And, uh, no, not quite. Not quite. Didn't quite get. It wasn't quite the angle off the top of the bottle there. But now Deathwish has got some interesting decisions to make. He needs to make some. I think he's going to need to try and open something up, or else he's going to be limited here with. Grenade shots for the majority of the rest of the map. Let's see if I can kill myself. The angles are not looking good for him down here, though. So, let's see what he decides to do. Lord knows I would have done that already. I mean, that's just what I do. That wasn't a bad effort. That wasn't a bad effort at all. I could see what he was trying to do. Just didn't quite bounce high enough and far enough across to the left. But it was a, a very good effort, and I'm sure Deathwish will definitely learn from that shot. And you still got your uh, free ladder up top. All you gotta do is just have a nice pool of water there as well. So, buckets. Holy craps, worms have got to be very careful Done. here. Yeah, this is over. They don't end up in the drink, but looking ahead even further, though, you've got to think. Even if Deathwish can manage to take well, the central worms of a load of crap. Uh, he's got that worm sitting pretty. So unless Deathwish can quickly make his way over uh, into the central area after taking out a load of craps worms, you've got to think that the the game timer is not going to be his friend and it's going to bring it into sudden death. And a load of crap is going to take this one because of rising water. He's going to try the bazooka shot here though. He's got the three wind. It's up. It's coming down. But unfortunately there was a pixel there. It was looking very good though, I have to say. I think the angle of that would have come down nicely and potentially got rid of both of a load of crap's central worms there. So... He's got another free shot though. A load of crap though is probably about two or three shots away with this worm uh, on the left hand side now of bringing them into play and be able to capitalize no, on shots here all right i'm going to go for a one win shot of the zeke at the minute because of that worm deathwish is getting a free shot every turn ah, dang it. not quite enough wind unfortunately two wind well, two or three win there would have definitely been a lot better but I ain't mad at it, but again, yeah, just taking out debris, lucky getting a feel for things, grenade, getting a, done. Uh, acclimatized to the angles available to him and what he can do. So, load of crap's first real attempt since honest. both of these worms have been down here. Can he just nicely loop a grenade over the top, down below? When it's looped, and it just sits high. That's the exact I was surprised at the amount of power he put in there. Yeah, I thought he just might have just tried to like feather it over now. the top. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, 
I know he didn't probably want to. He wanted to be quite wary of getting it stuck on that golf shoe. But I was quite surprised at the amount of power that he did put in behind that. Anyway, we're back with Death Wish here. Wind is totally against him here, though. So, not sure what he's going to do. It's going to be a grenade shot, surely. Because from this angle, he's definitely not going to be able to pull off another one of those uh, wind shots that he did previously. Three second timer on the grenade. It's up. Is it going to come down enough? It jumps. Nicely done. Now, does the death animation here kill the other worm? Is the worm close enough? It was close enough to damage, but it's left the worm on one health. So, yeah. Good shot from Deathwish with the grenade. Got to readjust the angle now, now though, unfortunately, unless a load of crap can move that worm. Man, you're trying to clear clear a hole. Uh, See what he can do with this shot, out. though. <laughs> Looks like he's got oh, wind with him. No, nope. it's, it's against him. The wind has just all of a sudden changed. Caught me off guard. All right, what can you do, Deathwish? Uh, coming down to it now. We're less than two minutes left uh, on the game timer, so Deathwish really needs to hurry up and dispatch this worm of a load of craps so if he's got any uh, chance of attacking. It. The worm on the high left Sound there. Okay, well, He's got rid of some more debris. Now, if you can pull that shot off game. again with the same power and the same uh, angle, the there is a potential that the grenade will bounce with a five-second timer. Far, so watch north. this space carefully. Holy oh, crap, stick into the left-hand side of the central <laughs> area here. Uh, doesn't want to bring him in, uh, the worm into play on the right-hand side. Grenade is up. It's down. Now, it's yeah. quite damage. I think it's too far away. It is, uh, unfortunately. Woo. Now I got a little. And what that okay, means is he's taken away a lot of that area. area where he could have potentially yeah, rooted a, a grenade um, and get got some splash oh, damage with it. Now, Deathwish is going to stick with the grenade. Oh, I missed it. Dang it. Yeah, the angle was different. I did wonder if he was going to go for a bazooka there. He had it with him. I don't yeah. think. I think he thought he would have to take the shot yeah, too high, and it wouldn't have enough there. space to come down enough. I mean, that's already a tight yeah, shot. To but, uh, with. The next shot from Death Wish Eight is going to be interesting. He's he's the one he used previously, and he's got the angle if he can remember the power. Uh, left some pixels but up with there. only just over a minute left oh, on the game clock, oh, that um, tip. we may if if Death Wish can kill a load of crap's worm here, we may get a final flurry of activity right if Death Wish can get through that central area quick enough, but. Nope, unfortunately, the, the power wasn't right. And uh, I think you have to say this one is going to go to a load of crap the way it looks at the moment. Oh, I sh oh, no, no, and uh, Deathwish is going to suffer been, death really by rising water. So if a load of crap chooses to run the shot clock down, they don't tend to use those sorts of tactics. They, they would much rather settle it on the battlefield rather than using... Uh, like cheap tactics of running shot clocks down and things. Plus, a load of crap has no real reason to run the shot clock down. He is, um, he is, uh, well and truly in a safe situation at the moment. It's a good shot from Deathwish, right? He's down. So, Deathwish has about 30 seconds of game time now until the water start to rise to try and open up the passageway through to a load of crap's worm on the high uh, left now, still going to be a pretty no to hit you. Um, difficult feat to achieve well, let's see if but if anybody can do it I'm sure Deathwish808 can no oh, crap still so here attacking the high area even it's not he's really almost made years. his way through all of this they're debris so at the top of this worm so, low, just, so let's see what uh, Deathwish chooses to do here down there uh, I have zero idea of a strategy to Not even... Not particularly rushing yeah. here to make a shot, to make uh, like a path through to the crap's worm. Across, so it'd so be no interesting to think that. or to know what was going through his head. He's definitely uh, run the yeah, game so time down, so we are now course. into sudden death. Uh, Is he just thinking about conceding or... Not sure. He's opening the area up now for a load of crap, so that's yeah. going to... Allow a load of crap now, maybe to get his first shot with this worm. 
There is a few little pixels though hanging around in that central area, and I think at the moment it's going to have to be a grenade shot, possibly. But we'll see. That's going to catch the debris. He opens a little bit more up. Managed to miss that debris. So. I do think that a grenade shot would have been a better shot, but that's my personal opinion. And as I proved uh, quite a few days ago, I feel like I'm a lot better at commentating and calling this out than I am at playing because my showing the other night when I picked up the game was truly abysmal. So what can Deathwish do? The wind is with him. You would absolutely earn like the worms. Anywhere close will win the game for either one of these these two competitors. Yeah, he's not going to have enough with a bazooka, unfortunately. Which why I'm quite surprised he didn't try and open up some more of that area around where that golf shoe is. There would always be the risk that you're going to hit that mine and knock that mine down to cause damage to your worms, but it would have given him at much better angles. No, so let's see what a load of crap can do here with a uh, grenade. I thought this would have been the choice before, but let's see. And that's the pixels I was talking about. I did say there's still a lot of pixels up in that top area. So it's not as clear cut for a load of crap. The water rise is ever higher. I think Deathwish has probably got about two more attempts left. Two more shots left. As he tries to get the worms a little bit higher. As soon as I fire, Is he going to try and take up. out some of the golf shoe here to give uh, himself a little bit of a better guy, angle? Or does he think he can clear the top of it with enough of an arc? Let's see. He's frantically calculating those There's angles no with his abacus. Even with four wind. Alright, he's make taking a shot some of it out. So I'm a bit surprised he didn't do that before. Yeah, it's just not gonna happen. I am not aiming good. But All right, let's see if I can man let's see if I can kill myself with this stupid freaking uh pixels. Just press enter. Load of crap here. Press enter. Sticking with the grenade, he's gonna go a little bit higher this time. He did have the win with him, so I didn't know if he would go with bazooka. Oh my gosh, really? Again, there's them pixels. <laughs> There are those pixels. You, just can, you can tell there how that grenade bounced on that upper area, just how many pixels there are. You may not be able to see them very well on your screen, but they are definitely there. So I think we're in the last shot for this worm, unfortunately. Deathwish actually has a, an opportunity here. If he could clear enough of an angle and he feels confident, he could have one final shot and one final attempt here on a load of crap. But... He doesn't open anything else up anymore, so I think that's what he's going to be going with. Anyway, and that worm is done. Yeah, I think in Deathwish now, he's actually going to get another shot. I think the water is going to rise too much. So I think a load of crap is going to win this one. Always going to have much more of an advantage when you've got a worm isolated and so high up in the map. Uh, did we get splatter? Not attempt. quite, but um, that would have been a great way to end the map there. Goodbye. Actually, a load of crap killing him with the bazooka. But there we go, guys. A load of crap takes it because of sudden death conditions. And uh, it takes this series of maps 2-0. and oh. So let's see what happens next time. Okay, time for game number three. And once again, we are in an indoor setting here. But uh, nobody really has any high isolated just, worms, so it should be uh, yeah, a bit more of a fair yeah. contest here. We've got quite a lot of mines here on this left-hand side. So once again, watch this left-hand side. They seem to uh, follow Deathris around like a magnet who is going to get us underway here. He's got his grenade out. And I think we're going to see the grenade just poked into around these barrels here where a load of crap's worm is to the left of centre. Surprised if he doesn't, but who knows? Might be going for the worm. Oh, he goes for the worm down below. It's going to kick the mine up. Fortunately, the mine rolls away, so just a bit of splatter damage there to get us in the way. Not the most ideal of starts, but there is a nice little water pit there now, though, for a load of crap's worm. So has to be very careful of that indeed. 
Let's have a look, see what like, a load of crap's going to do here with an opening move. Again, Deathwish has a worm there on a brolly, which is surrounded by a mine with a mine below him as well. So that might come into play. Looks like a load of crap is lining up that shot. Mine is going to roll down actually. To is it going to go up enough? Not quite. Mines, are we? <laughs> Could have been a nice little shot with uh, if it had kicked up just enough there to hit his uh, Deathwish's central worm. That's a talent. Who is really blocked in now? Not really a lot this worm is going to be able to do. He's going to try and climb up a little bit higher. Some people. Spatter uh, damage there, causing uh, one of the mines uh, to drop uh, down. I think he would have really liked both of them to drop down because it does kind of isolate that worm slightly that. at that position. Sorry, He'll not sorry. be able to bring it into play because the won't be able to clear it with the jump. So a little bit unfortunate. Load of crab here, surely going to attack the worms on the left hand side. Has he got enough here? Will he have enough just to drop death, not deathish worm back? into the path of that mine because that would cause some big damage with that fire barrel there as well so let's just see what happens oh my gosh what in the world okay not the sort of shot that uh, low crap would have wanted the, the worm ended up in the water and the mine was um blown around a little bit and he has actually killed two of Deathwish's worms so on the face of it a really good shot took a bit of damage on one of his own worms especially because of the um, death animation as well but uh, he's already made it a 4 on 2 in his favour so Deathwish once again is on the back foot as he has been in pretty much all of these matches so far today I didn't see it that way either so oh my gosh that was bad Yes, Nicely onto the yes, top of the yes, one second yes, mine there, so double damage for a load of crap's worm. Finally. Nicely just pushed onto the brolly. I got you into the path of the mine. Freaking mine for once. <laughs> and we've got this worm here in the lower right hand side of the map. What's he gonna do? Can't go too far to the right because of the mine. I'd like to think he's going to try seems, a grenade shot or a me. nice little up and over here to knock Deathwish's worm yeah, off this artificial shot. grass. Oh, this roll of turf, sorry. It's not really artificial grass. It's a roll of turf. Can't quite make his mind up. I think the bazooka, though, is going to push this shot to the left, no? Would he not want the grenade? There we go. So that would uh, come back down on him and onto that fire barrel, if anything. That would have nice. really put himself in a dangerous position. So, uh, uh, yeah, I was, would have been a bit surprised if he'd have gone for the bazooka that shot. Same thing. Uh, that was to Deathwish, though, now in the center. Uh, He's got this one now, which who is pretty isolated. I wonder if he's just going to fire another rocket here into the wall. You know, you run, yeah, he is, you run that risk, though, of making a way through for the your opponent's worm to attack you. The only thing he may have on him, obviously he's only he's down to two worms, so he, that worm may come around again before a load of crap's 87 worm gets to play. Okay, what's this guy going to do? The isolated worm here for a load of crap. Not really sure what he's going to do. He might just opt to try and open up some angles here for future shots. We'll see. Try with a grenade. It's going to backfire. Backfire big time. Very lucky that the fire didn't hit the other the, the other barrel next to his worm. And that that dropping mine didn't uh, land on his 25 worm right. there. Uh, so what are going to do uh, here? Is he going to drop a mine a grenade down maybe? Good here. I think he's going to opt oh, to boy, see second. if he can Wait do some more damage to the 45 oh, uh, worm possibly. It probably won't work, but... wondered if he was going to try and just drop a grenade down to where that worm is below. Yep, all right, he's doing it behind the bolt to give more momentum to push the worm onto the instant mine there. So, good shot from Deathwish. Very good shot indeed. 
We took away over half of that worm's health, down to a third health. Well, I mean, that was... Down here to the mine, so... So, which worm gets to go next? It's... Load of crap's worm over here. What can he do from here? Could be a grenade shot over the top. Drop Death Wish's worm uh, off this roller turf. Uh, okay, a little bit too high though, unfortunately. Oh, it wasn't quite is. right, but Death Wish has a big opportunity here with uh, a load of crap's Central 87 worm. It's right next to a barrel, so you're going to get some big, big damage if you could get your projectile right next to the worm. Unfortunately for Death Wish though, it didn't go through the pixels. There is a mine. Can the mine do anything? The mine comes into play. So the barrel went off. Not as much damage and probably not the outcome Death Wish was expecting, but a good chunk of damage nonetheless. Just watch out for the retaliation strike though now. There's a load of crap. How's that worm up next? I think as his, his, his own words, we're going to be shocked and amazed as to what he's going to do next. Instead of elsewhere, you got the best... Is the mine though? What's, what's the mine going to do? Okay, I was worried that the mine might kick up back towards a load of crap. But I think in an island situation, if he'd have, if he could have uh, moved Deathwish's worm into that crater, that could have been some big damage. But I don't think the wind and the angles and things were lining up for him to be able to do that. So totally understandable as to why he went for what he did. Deathwish now looking to make inroads from his previous shot. Can he take what he learned from that and uh, put it into better practice this time? He drops it down yeah, near the explosive barrel, but doesn't quite go through the gap, unfortunately. Uh, and, Opens up a bigger area, though, the space bar was too much where hour. a grenade could potentially roll around in yeah, there. Yeah, those are hard shots. Yeah, because see, if I would have changed the angle up... Uh, However, I think me, that so word I gets to go next. I couldn't do that. Yep. And um, really it could cause some big damage uh, I here. Had to do like a Definitely got a good angle. A slightly a hair, like a tenth of a second. Uh, it's going for a much steeper a angle than I would longer. anticipate. Just a oh, hair come on, really? Oh, perfection! Mm, yes. Interesting. So, I think it was a much steeper yeah, angle than I thought he would have gone for. It's definitely put that worm in danger's way. Deathwish has got a much clearer shot on that one now. Can Deathwish capitalise on here? Bazooka possibly slightly above. No, nope, going below. I thought maybe he would go above to potentially drop it into the mine. He was almost so very close to dropping it in the water, but it doesn't matter anyway because the full damage is enough to take that worm to its end. And Low Crap has finally lost his first worm of the game. We are down to three on two. And in Deathwish's favour because <laughs> of the health. Uh, the crap man needs to kind of look here and there. see if there's a way he can bring this worm more into the game. He could the, uh, potentially jump over the mine, the although that would put him yeah, in danger's way where that pool of water is, where he's just lost a worm too. I don't uh, think he's good, got quite the angle here though. Yeah, but we'll like see. Four on one, Again, four on experience two. is probably talking. Like Switched game. it out to the bazooka instead now. Good oh, shot nice from a load shot. of crap. Just threaded nice the eye shot. of the needle. And um, good chunk of damage once again have, taken from Deathwish's worm here. Down to 24. It in the right spot. Deathwish has the opportunity here to bring it down no, to a two I on two. If you could just get angles and, and things right. Surely going to use a grenade. No, he's sticking with the bazooka. Okay. Well, that's why these guys know what they're doing. And uh, I'm just a humble commentator who has no idea. Because that was a perfect shot, perfectly arched. Um, read the conditions really well. And Deathwish has indeed brought that down to two on two. Back in his favor. Uh, that's dang now, is Load Crap going to try and get something Bad. through that gap? Is that possible? Got it. Yeah, that's what I figured. 
Nope, but he's just opened up a big line of attack now for Deathwish. Maybe not the smartest move. Both his worms are within one hit kill territory. Mine finishes off a load of Kratz worms, and for the first time in this series of maps today, a load of crap is the one with the least amount of worms. Deathwish is up two to one at the moment. What can a load of crap do here? He really needs to knock this worm of Deathwish is down off the turf, I think, to stand any chance of surviving any longer. But we'll see what he can do. Yep, there we go. Knocks him. Oh, he was so close. He is hung on by his absolute last hair there. Um, he just clung to that sidewall. If he if he'd have slid round there again, he would have been in the water, and that that would have been it. It would have been down to a one on one. But Deathwish there, Lady Luck really shining on Deathwish this time around. See what he can do though, because everything he has learned over the previous few shots has now been just taken away from him, unfortunately. The worm is in a pretty safe position now though, so he's got that to be thankful for. Not really sure what he's doing here, almost down to the final 10 on the shot clock, switching out to a grenade. He's going to try and get one up and over, I think. Bit of a rush shot towards the end. It was pretty interesting though as well. It, it kind of was going in that direction, but because there was another lip opposite on that left-hand side, it kind of halted its progress. They have actually been a bit more prudent there to get rid of that uh, bottle debris. And that would have at least opened up an angle and some attack in options for him on the bottom right there, but... I'm going to see like a little bank shot here yeah, from a load of crap with a grenade. One second there. time. It's going to bank it off this wall and hopefully hit Deathwish's 24 worm below. There we go. That was enough damage. 29 and on the mine as well. So more than enough damage there to see the end of Deathwish's worm. And we are down to a one-on-one -on -one situation. It is 46 plays 45. There is one health point in it. Swinging in Deathwish's favour at the moment, but a load of crap has got the high ground here. Deathwish has got the wind this time around, though. Let's see. Can he get the angle and the power right? It's up, it's over, and unfortunately it just went a little bit too high. If it was a bit lower, it may have just arced enough to go through that gap in the centre. But more interestingly, Deathwish has left that worm over in the right-hand side, and that sort of opens up an area of attack for a load of crap. Is he going to leave his worm there, or is he going to bring him over to the centre? He could bring him over to the centre, potentially, and give himself some better options on angles. He's going to try his attack from here, though. Can he thread that gap between the turf and the barrel with that grenade? That is the dire question here. Not the dire question, the killer question. What am I talking about? The grenade's up, it's over, and it's going to get rid of some of that turf. However, that's maybe not as bad of a shot as you think because it's, it's opened up another area where a grenade could loop around and then fall down below. Deathwish here, though, is going to have to change it out, I think. Unless he's confident enough with that bazooka, but he's not. He's going for a grenade. I just don't know if those angles are going to be right for him. But we'll see. Three seconds on the shot on the timer. Up towards the broadly. Let me angle that there. Tap it, tap. And then... Let's say he's saying I'm not quite high enough. Okay, that could be could have been interesting, but it wasn't quite high enough to clear that lip. If we'd have been that little bit higher, it would have got some bouncing across, and maybe we could have seen some damage to a low crack. Because low crack's got to be careful, you know. On that left hand side of that brolly just there, there is a nice little pool for his worm to go and have a swim in. Sticking with the grenade, is he going to play the same shot again? It looks like he's not adjusted the angle yet. 
So it does look like he may be going for the same shot and the same angle again. It's round, but it gets caught on another bit of debris this time. It was almost about to drop down as well. I think if that would have been a four-second timer, that would have dropped down just enough to damage Deathwish. Maybe not kill him, but would have uh, reduced his health significantly. So that right-hand side of the map is now well and truly open. There's going to be no more bank shots, I don't think. I think a load of crap has got enough of an angle there. It's round, so that's what I was talking about before. Deathwish, and once again, we see a very, very lucky worm. However, the fall damage does manage to get I was going to say he was lucky because he stayed out of the drink, just like Deathwish did in that previous attempt. But no, unluckily for a load of crap, the fall damage was enough, along with the splash damage, to kill the worm. So a load of crap takes the series today, two to one. Thank you very much to both players, and I hope you enjoyed the commentary once more. We'll be back with some more real soon. So until then, guys, I've been Nock. You've been awesome. Thank you very much for watching. Happy gaming.